This is the third time I've recorded this video, trying to keep it as short as possible. I'm going to say as much as I can, as quickly as I can. RC aerial tube from an AM aerial heat shrink. Uh, Dynasteel moldables putty steel crap. Um, I've got a push bike spoke nut. That is the primary ingredient in the middle. That's what your cap goes on. You solder that into the barrel of the RC aerial tube. You use the Dynasteel to mold a shard of a neodymium magnet into that position. That allows you to put the 3.88 millimeter ball bearing down the barrel and it is held in place by the magnet. You put a cap on there, you pull the trigger and it goes bang. I'm going to load it up and fire it for you as quickly as I can. I'm going to pause you and bring you back. And I'm back. Here we have the gun. Cap in it. Bullet in it. Ready to fire. Fridge is the target. Let's see how, what damage I get to do. The previous bullet damage is all previously marked. So this should be a new shot. Ready? 3, 2, 1 and fire. Let's go and have a look at the damage. Okay, as you can see here, this is the shot we've just done. You can see the curvature of it. Here's a previous shot. Another previous shot. Another previous shot. And, and so on and so forth. Those shots were all made with a barrel twice as the length. That shot was made with a one inch barrel from a cap and a 3.88 millimeter bearing. Impressive, huh? Stainless steel fridge. Lots of dents.